my gorgeous friends on the internet <laughs> you guys are the most beautiful set of people i've ever seen all right so i uh, know i've not seen most of you guys but okay so so let's get into into the the main the main topic of today so today i'm going to be okay first of all let me ask you a question before i actually dive into the topic so let's say you have a firebase project okay yeah your app was completely built with firebase and you utilize the firebase authentication yeah to authenticate users and then you have a millions of users signed up or you have few users or you have two users just like mine is showing here signed up already in your application and then later on you want to send a book sms to these users and you want to get all their email addresses like how do you get them uh, do you start copying them uh, copying the email address one after the other and then making adding it to a csv file and then doing your copy and sending the email or let's say you want to migrate your database to another database entirely what do you do about these users do you copy the email address one after the other all right so this video is about answering that question there is an easy way easy fix to do that so in this video i'm going to show you how to extract every authenticated user's data from your firebase uh, authentic uh firebase auth to a csv file or a json file so whichever one you prefer or whichever one the service provider you're using or the database you want to migrate to is supporting so it's up to you all right so let's get started so you remember this app the to do app which i created using firebase yeah uh it's actually in my youtube channel you can check it as a playlist and this is the project so you want to make sure you're already also in the project while doing this okay the selected project so few things that are required for you to do first for first and first is for you to have npm installed okay you will need to install npm in your system and then firebase you need to log in from the terminal using firebase because that way it will really help us uh to communicate with firebase okay but if you're not authenticated once you run this command it's going to tell you to get authenticated and once you're authenticated you are good to go so the first thing you want to do is to run npm let's check the version just run npm version to be sure you actually have npm installed in your device so in this case you can see i already have npm installed but if you don't you can check it online to see how to install npm okay so you can see the version i'm using is 8.3.0 okay then secondly i want to check if i'm already logged into firebase so i can you run firebase login and to see if i'm already logged into firebase all right so i'm already logged in as this name uh, to firebase all right so what i can do now i want to extract this files that are in this authentication into my into a json file then later i'm going to show us how to uh, send, save it in a csv file so the first thing i want to go i want to go to my project setting and then get the product project id yeah uh, which is this project so make sure you get the id of the project you want to get the auth from and if you look closely you can see i have uh app dot to do and if you also go to my project uh google services the json you see i also have app dot to do so it's actually the same app and you can see if i paste this other uh id here you can see they are both the same ids okay so you can decide to copy it from anywhere it's still going to work so what i'm going to do now i'm going to go over to my uh, console yeah my terminal and then i'll run firebase with a semicolon then we run export okay and then i will specify a project yeah let's give it that is it tag or yeah okay a dash dash project and then we'll pass in the paste the project id yeah okay once you do that a space you give a space and then the name of the file you want to store the json like the user's data in so you can see auth currently it's not here so firebase will automatically create it for us so i'll use authenticated okay auth users auth underscore users dot so you use the extension json okay once you do that hit enter and give it some time it's going to uh retrieve all the data all the authenticated users from uh, firebase sometimes it might take time from your own depending on the amount of data you have so you can see it has exported two accounts successfully if you look into my firebase console now you will see that i only have two accounts that wa that's why we saw exported two accounts okay and in this case if you scroll down down to your project you see a new file that was created authusers.json so let me close this one up and then i'm going to open this one and you can see the users uh, if you check closely we have two users here this one and talk to destiny ed and if you go here you can see we have talk to destiny ed and it returns the local id yeah 
returns the verified if it's verified or not okay and then the display name the photo url the last time this user signed in the time the user the user created his account and you can see the provider info yeah uh if the user signed in through google you'll see google.com the user signed in through facebook or apple you'll see apple facebook or if they signed in through email you'll see email provider stuff like that so you can actually retrieve the photo url of this user too so if you click on it you should see the photo url yeah of this particular user okay so you can use this uh to make changes in your database you can see the second user still the same name so i think this should have my image i guess yeah <laughs> so this is my image all right so uh yep so that is it you can see we have successfully retrieved uh, the users data in json file so if you have million users they are all going to be retrieved and displayed here all right so the next thing we are going to be looking at is how to uh get this users in form of csv depending on what your database wants or what you want csv or json so we have already done json you've seen how easy it was then let's try for csv still the same method but you just have to change the extension to csv okay hit enter give it some time it's going to do its work and then uh export everything so if you look closely here now you can see we have a new cr newly created file which is alt users.csv so if you open it see how it's displayed uh if you have more than two datas they are all going to be displayed here so you can see the local id the email if it's verified and the name and the photo url and everything but this is not looking cool what if you have millions of users how do we retrieve this particular email address yeah that's a that's a nice question how do we retrieve the email address because we can't start copying them one after the other uh, it's not very nice or we can just write a program uh, a function that we retrieve that but it's not necessary because there's already our uh, platforms out there who can do that for us so what we'll do we'll go to our firebase uh, our uh, uh, our web web browser so i already have the tab saved and if you go here you can see this url convert csv.com slash email extractor dot html so it just helps us you can see so many files you can do uh, csv to flat file csv to json uh you can see html links to blah 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 json to csv blah 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 and all those stuff so what we can do in this case is to either enter data so if they say enter data what you just have to do is to uh, copy the whole of this data okay and then paste it here so once you paste it here uh you can go to uh, extract data and you can see it has extracted the two data for us from that csv file that you can download the result but if you don't want it this way uh very easy you can still go back uh okay if you don't want it this way you want to upload the csv file itself directly so i've cleared everything what you have to do is to choose file or if you have a url you can still choose url but we're going to choose file and then browse into our system okay so make sure you go to the product project and then click on alt users or csv okay and once you do that you're going to click on extract and it's going to extract the email address for us and now you can download it to csv so once you download it you can see you only have uh, the name of the email address of that users and then you can upload it to either uh, email where you want to send email or maybe any database you want to uh, migrate to so guys you can see how easy it was and this is actually the little thing i wanted to show you in this video thank you so much for watching and if you have any, any, any comments or suggestion put it down in the comment section and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are a new new uh uh new viewer here so don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the like button also the notification so that you will know when i'm alive all right so see you guys in the next video